Hello, welcome to OpenCV Basics. George here. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a Gaussian function that's going to allow us to create a nice uh, two-dimensional image with a Gaussian basically centered anywhere you decide to with any kind of standard deviation you want as well. So I already have an OpenCV project up. This is following off the last one, so I have some nice functions for taking the DFT. We're not going to use any of them here. All we need to do is create a new function called create Gaussian. So let's do void create Gaussian. We're going to have a few, more than a few, quite a few parameters we're going to pass in. The first thing we need to pass in is a size parameter. We're going to do this by reference. The idea is uh, this is going to say how big the matte object we're going to create is. Of course, a reference to an output. The next five parameters are going to control how this Gaussian is created. The first two are the uh, mean in the x and the y direction, followed by the sigma value or standard deviation and also in the x and y direction. And finally, an optional amplitude component, but that's usually just going to stay at one. So let's do int ux, int ui, float sigma x, float sigma y, and of course float amplitude is equal to 1.0f. Now we need to create a temporary mat object to hold all of this information. So let's do mat temp is equal to a new mat object. The size is of course going to be the size we passed in. And uh, the type is going to be CV underscore 32F. Next up, we need a double for loop. We need to iterate over every pixel in this mat object we've created and run our function, our Gaussian function, and see what the proper pixel value should be. So let's do a double for loop. For, for, and in here, let's do int r is equal to zero, r is less than size dot height, r plus plus, and then in this one we'll do int c is equal to zero, c is less than size dot width, c plus plus. All right, now that we have our double for loop, we just need to evaluate our function. We're going to do this in a couple steps just to break the math up a little bit. Now the actual equation for the Gaussian function is, well, I'll magically make it appear right now on the screen. It looks a little complicated, but don't worry about it. We're going to break it up so it's easy. First part we're going to solve is what I'm going to call the x component, then the y component, and then finally we're going to take the, um, basically uh, take e to that power and multiply by the amplitude, and that becomes our final value. So let's do float x is going to be equal to. So first of all, we're going to do uh, parenthesis division and parenthesis again. Let's do the uh, denominator first, 2.0f times sigma x times sigma y, excuse me, sigma x, that's squaring the term right there. Now within this, the uh, numerator, we're going to do another multiplication. Let's put in two more parentheses. In this first bit, we're going to do uh, c minus ux, our current column minus the middle of the image, and then of course c minus ux on the other side as well. It's just squaring the term. And I always like to just uh, do a conversion over here somewhere to a float value so that I'm not dealing with integers, just in case. Let's do float y is equal to. We're we'll going to copy this exact same line, just change a couple of the values. So instead of C, we're now deal dealing with the rows, so make sure you make that change. And instead of UX, we're going to be UI, UY, and of course, sigma Y and sigma Y. Not so bad. Okay, now for the final bit of the equation, let's do float value. Is it going to equal the amplitude passed in times exponent negative, we're going to, we have to negate the value, and we want to do um, x plus y, all right, semicolon on the end. Now we just have to place that value, so we're going to use the at function, temp.at, type float, and at location row column is equal to value. 
Now, the last thing we want to do is make sure we normalize the results when we're all finished so that they're within the range that can be visualized in OpenCV. So we're going to pass in temp. We're going to get temp back out. And of course, the range is 0 0.1, or excuse me, 0 0.0, 1.0 as our max. And then the type of normalization is norm min max. Let's see, norm underscore min max. And of course, output is equal to our temp value. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. So let's do create Gaussian. Let's pass in uh, our size object. So let's do a size of type, and let's do what? 256 by 256. And our output mat, let's do. All right, so let's do our output now. And then we'll do our middle of the image, which is going to be 256 divided by 2 and 256 divided by 2. Uh, our sigma values in this case, well, let's just pick something, I don't know, 10, 10 for a standard deviation. And our amplitude, we're just going to leave it at 1. Let's just quickly do an IM show of the output. And weight key. And of course, give it a name. Let's hit run and see what happens. And there we are. So if you want to, you can hit a, hook up a track bar to this window. In one of the other videos, we talk about that and make it so that uh, you can adjust the size of this. Or you could even use a callback, taking in where you click, and of course, putting this Gaussian wherever it is you happen to be um, clicking on the screen. Hope you found that easy, very simple to implement. Have fun with it. Thanks. Bye.